it so happens that the place where St. Patrick arrived and lit the illegal and illicit fire here on this hill of Spain is not that far away from where St. Bernard sent the first colony of monks from Clairvaux. Melifond and Slain are fairly close together. And since St. Patrick arrived, the fire of faith, the fire of charity, the fire of Christian grace has spread over this land and ignited millions of souls that have gone on safely, unknown and unheard, into the beyond, both inside and outside his quiet cloisters. One day we were burying a saint, a holy Trappist I had known and worked with when I was at Ross Cray. And as I saw him go, I thought, where does he go? What does he see? He had redoubled his penances after the council changes because he felt that what was being less done in community had to be done more personally, but that damaged his health and he petered out at 74 years of age. Dear Father Canis, we made altar breads together. The burying of a saint. The wheel of fortune turns but once for us, and we this circuit run in our soul race. What is to pause or this caved sleep sealed thus for air by one small sod? What is to face the parting of a friend that comes not back? From this, his unmapped journey. What it is to gaze at the unseen and there to lack the means to know what means by now are his. Oh, dense. Unknown, tis this to know thee well, for that thy weight too great for little things crushed all that e'er approached thee, heard thy knell, or stepped into the shuffling of these wings that blow out this our candle with a flick. For though we burn, we lose not this strange